also find the, the apothecary's black stone and take it to the Archmagister. According to the notes of the Archmagister, best house in the other city. I'm so hungry. Look at those cheeks! So nice and rosy. What are you looking at? Hunger. You can count on. Hmm. Hmm. You just wait and see. Oh. 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 Eating the last penny right out your pocket. Okay, good. A bloody wench thing. Vatra incarnate. My damn. Please, just, oh, just leave me be. Why are you stopping? What? What do you want? To cut at me? Just, just leave. Please. Look at that! A sun child graces me with its presence. What can I do for you? What do you have in stock? Oh, all things lost and found again. Depends on what you're looking for. Oh, all things lost and found again. Depends on what you're looking for.
Well, look at that. A sun child graces me with its presence. What can I do for you? What? Natalia. Ah, yes, the discussion with the mercant. What happened? I don't see how that concerns you. Don't you have some theatre play to attend to, Sunchild? Maybe I can help you. Help me? Well, I doubt that. That is, unless you have a pouch with 300 pennies to give away. Oh, and maybe two sheaves of God's tongue to go with it. War. After all these centuries, what do you need to run for? Crazy. You're really nosy, you know that. But fine, what bad can it do? That son of a virtue over there, Cabal Thorwall, he's the only merchant in the Undercity who still has Vinru in his stocks. But since he knows that, he sells it for a price that would have upper city snobs running away screaming. Well, and if the Apothecary in the Pest House doesn't get new roots soon, the infected they treat there will start dying like flies within a day. Burns. Are you an apothecary? Sure. By day. And by night, I work as the Grandmaster's personal Kalean dancer. <laughs> Jokes aside. Nah. I'm just an errand girl. But down here, having paid work is already something to feel blessed for. Americans. <laughs> they could, and they do. Aye. But that's by far not enough. Especially since the cloister of the League up north has been snowed in for moons now. And as noble as their intentions are, they only have so much coin without their League backing them up. And those infected can only be treated with that particular root. You're no alchemist, are you? <laughs> Aye. Red vine root is the only thing that can help get those flesh maggots out of an infected body. I repeat, can. Even with a proper treatment, most people don't make it through. Any idea as to why this cabar doesn't just lower his prices? He must know what's at the stake. Of course he does. But he sees an opportunity to get rich quick, and so he uses it. He's always been like that. Maybe you could, hi. I guess it'll be worth a shot. We need at least ten sheaves so that the Apocathery can make use of them. And I don't want to seem ungrateful, but don't expect to get anything in return for your help. You don't have to give me anything. Huh? Well, fine then. Good luck. As you like. God is my portion. Red portion ship. Safe travels. Um. Hmm? 
Ah, sure thing. You just wait and see, fucking sissy. I love you. With your buttocks. See in the last penny right out your Mmm, a real pretty thing you are. We should spend some time together. <sighs> hey! You're an adventurer, aren't you? Have you? I... Help. Please, help. Here. Remember, they tried to cure her. There must be a solution to this. <sighs> when was the last time I slept? What? Who are you? The order sent me. I need your help with something. Oh, really? And what could someone working for the order bring down to a place like this and risk spoiling his fine garments? Is that a problem? Take a look around and you'll see the problem. What do you want? Just spit it out. I'm here because I'm looking for a black stone, which is said to be associated with your league. Do you know anything about that? A black stone? No idea what you're talking about. Now, is there something else? If not, leave. Time is sparse these days. Oh, thank the sun. Oh, yeah. Here you are. I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? I followed you. It's about your mission. I know that the Grand Master ordered you to find the Black Stones. And I believe I know where to find the one you were looking for down here. You do? Where? Far away from here. And I can show you where. The only thing I ask of you is that no one must know about my part in this. Promise me that, and I'll tell you what I know. Thanks. Believe me, I don't like this any more than you do. Come, follow me. Hmm? Wow! I nice remember sword. coming here as a child. The apothecary gave me something to eat before setting me on the streets again. All that... it seems so distant now. It's easy to forget about the other side of the coin once you haven't seen mm -hmm. it for a while. <laughs> All right, this is better. Have you ever heard the name Dalgalar? Dalgalar? Yes, the healer of the poor. 
Healer of the poor. Yes, that's what some people called him. It doesn't do him justice, though. Dalgalar helped everyone regardless of his wealth. The only difference was that he had the rich people pay for their treatment. Do you also remember why he left Ark? Yes, he had uh, a problem with the lake of the Putakari, if I remember. Yes. For him, the end justified the means. For example, it is said that he once healed a crippled soldier by replacing his lost leg. The League considered such practices pathless, but Dalgalar refused to give in, and that is how they came to blows. Finally, Dalgalar left Ark and moved into a remote old castle in the Frostcliff Mountains. True, but people fear what they don't know. It has always been like that. I guess you know the rest of the story. He became more and more reclusive until one day, he locked the gates and was never heard from again. The apothecaries say that it was his eccentricity which was to blame, but I think there is more to it than that. The black stone. You think the black stone had the role in all this? I know it did. I recently read the notes of one of the few apprentices he permitted to come with him. And this is where it gets interesting. Dalgalar researched something he only referred to as the Angel. Angel. No one but him was allowed to take part in its creation, and he hired dozens of mercenaries to get him the resources he needed for his experiments. Books, relics, rare herbs, things like that. And one of those relics was a small dark stone, shining like the skin of an eel. A black stone. And you think it's responsible for whatever really happened in his castle? Yes. What do you think, Saira? That does sound like a lead, doesn't it? A good one, actually. But why all this secrecy? I was waiting for that question. All right, then. I might as well come clean. I am interested in all this because there is a rumor as to what the angel was supposed to be. What? A talisman. One that allows its bearer to heal any disease in the world, even flesh maggots, the yellow fever, or the black death. All of them. Ah. Oh. And I want to find this angel, Saira. Why? Isn't it obvious? Because I want to be healed. Ah, yes. The demon. You. Yes. If there's even just a sliver of a chance that this device, whatever it is, can help me, I have to take it. And that is also why the Order must not know about any of this. They would confiscate the artifact before I could use it for myself. And what am I supposed to tell them if they ask me why I need it? I can't allow anyone to learn the truth about me, not until I've dealt with it. <sighs> now enough about my motivations, Saira. Let us plan how we are going to proceed. You're right. How do we get to this castle? It's up north, all right? Yes. I found us a map that should point the way from the Frostcliff Tavern. Go prepare yourself. I will meet you there. And thank you for helping me. I know I might not show it that much, but I appreciate your... uh... friendship. I really do. Potatoes, garlic, radish. Yeah, that should be it. Before I must talk with a merchant. Huh? Oh, by the name of the sun. Won't this ever stop? 
Tell Nathalia, the apothecary, or whoever sent you that the price stays. Nathalia said that without a root, two cents of people will die. Doesn't mean anything to you. It does actually, yes. But it does not change the fact that I need to live somehow too. And that 300 per sheath is already a fair price. Go on, ask those upper city merchants. You're lucky if they sell it below 500. <sighs> Listen, I know exactly what you think. This ruthless bastard, how greedy, how evil, and so on and so forth. But that's not how it is, believe me. So, back to business. Are you looking for supplies? If not, just shove off. Bloody wench thinks she's Vata incarnate. Well, she'll get it. soon. Mmm, a real pretty thing you are. We should spend some time together. What? What do you want? To cock at me? Just... Just look at me. In old bed, sorry.
but I just don't have that much. What the Blazers do you expect me to do? Please, my dame, you need to understand. And you need to understand that we're just the messengers. A debt that you don't pay is a debt we can't pay to the Father. And the last thing we want to do is disappoint the Father. Or do we, Roban? We don't. Five hundred pennies until next week. After that, we will make sure this corpse pit finally lives up to its name. Understood? Yes, my dame. Of course. Glad to hear that. You'll hear from us. What the? You? What's that? I... Listen, for your own good, I advise you to just turn around. This is nothing you want to get involved in. It really isn't. was simply naive, and now I have to live with the consequences. About two years ago, my son died. He drowned in the canals. That whole thing, I couldn't handle it. Business went to shit, and so did I. And when I was finally able to think straight again, I looked for help. You took a loan from the Ranata. Yes, I suppose you can figure out the rest. Yes. What other choice do I have? As pathetic as it sounds, right now the apothecary and their infected are the only reliable source of income I have, especially with that whole red madness thing going on on the surface. Can you ask the guard for help? I hope you're not being serious. As if those redcoats would risk getting their shiny armor dirty. I know, but ten pennies less, and I can't pay back the next rate. It doesn't matter what I do, it's the wrong thing. And I suppose that you can just explain the situation to Teralata? If you can say that, you don't know who we're talking about. I was asking, so what now? <sighs> Good question. What now? You're giving me the money? Just like that? Why? Don't ask. Just take it and sell Natalia the route she needs. I, by the righteous path, I will not forget this. Thank you, really. This is really good. 
Now let us hope he doesn't lower it to 99 pennies per sheaf. Thank you, Sunchild. You saved a lot of lives today. Is it important? No. Leon, oh, just where did I put it? Uh. Please, just... Just leave me be. Some people just don't know that. Oh shit. I have to remember that. He'll come around. He has to steal crumbs. Always in the plane crazy. I don't know. Malfas's blessings. Malfas should bless the other city. Mm. Oh shit. I have to remember that. It's terrible. Greetings. Sure. Where to? Crosscliff Tower. Again. In the cold part of Enderal. So much to do, so little time. Kalia, yes. <laughs> the last time. A woman waited for me in the hour. Better no thinking. Oh, just shut up, will you, Foliak? Excuse, my friend, Manu Keeper. Wouldn't recognize a Vatir if it was drooling in his face. But as he said, we don't know anything about that castle. We just got a new delivery if of I mail. Would, I would stay away from it anyway. This man, this Dalgala, he was crazy. What makes you say that? Well, before he, you know, shut himself in, he sent his servants down here a couple of times each moon. And every time they hired dozens of hunters to bring them dead game. Rabbits, deer, and the like. So? He probably needed them for his experiments. Hi, my dad, but why so many? I mean, 40 cadavers a week? There must be something wrong with that. Maybe he's an entropist, a bone mage, or something like that. And maybe he wanted to use those corpses to raise an army of undead to take revenge on the League. 
Rabbits, Foljek. Rabbits. The dose makes the poison. Isn't that how you say it, my dam? Uh, yes, that's the saying. I need to go now. Thank you for your help. I take it you listened. I don't think we'll get more than superstitious chatter out of these people. What do you say? Should we head out? As you like. Just tell me once you're ready to leave. Yes, uh, can I help you? Maybe yes. I'm trying to find out what happened to Dal Galar. Do you know anything about him? Dal Galar? Mm. I was still a toddler when he moved here, so no. Uh, but I know about his castle, and if I were you, I would stay away from there. You're not the first one to say that, why? Uh, well, you know, I'm I'm up in the village from time to time to, uh, to Some look for things. And once I was stupid enough to go near the castle gate. So? There was something in the courtyard, a, a, a creature made of bright blue light. And it moved, and, and it breathed. I got away from there as quick as I could, and I ran back to the tavern. And yes, uh, maybe it was just my imagination, but still... Uh, there's something wrong with that castle. Uh, that's all I can say. Huh? What do you want? Yes, uh, can I help you? Teal or Arenthial has returned after all these years. Malfast truly smiles upon us. Right. I was wondering if you could tell me anything about oh, Count Dalgalar. Count? What do you want me to say? He's a monster, just like the apothecary said he was. <laughs> I still remember the day he and his cohorts That's moved into that you. forsaken castle. Was okay. The villagers all cheered as if he were water blade incarnate. But I just knew there was something wrong with that man the moment I saw him. Especially when I saw that cart with the burial shrouds. Burial shrouds? What's unusual about that? Nothing. At least, not for a so-called healer. But I saw a shape beneath them, like a stiff body, a wax figure. And that man, Dal Galar, he kept staring at it as if he were hypnotized or something. <sighs> anyway... My advice, stay away from that castle. Welcome, welcome. What can I do for you? Nothing. An outlander. Isn't this nice? Work, work, work. Always talking. Yes, uh, can I help you? Mm hmm. None of your damn business. Piss off. Thank you. What do you want? Oh, well. <laughs> what? I'm looking for knowledge. <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe there's a trick or two I could show you. But trust me, they don't come cheap. Thank you. 
Yes, yes, yes. Just move along, will you? A game? Come on. Take a seat. Walk blessed, madame. So? Learned anything useful? Oh, some things. Hmm. Interesting. And you're right. The guy over there really does look strange. Anyway, let's go. Now, a good pipe of peace, we. Jesus, why is that stuff so expensive? Let's go. <sighs> Cold. Love it. The castle is about two miles north of here. We shouldn't have any problems if we stay on the road. I suggest you go on ahead. I'll cover your back. Hmm. That tower over there looks suspicious if you ask me. Let's be careful.
Where are you going, Saira? That is not the right way. Just don't take too long, all right? I'll wait here. Ah, there you are. Let us keep going. Sure, let us keep going. Look at this. Ah! 
Oh no, this is Brother Gallius. Uh, what were they doing here? I don't know. Let's search their bodies. I heard about that. The Order wanted the ore for the beacon. Poor people. This bastard must have taken them by surprise. Let's take a look into that mine, Saira. Our expedition into the castle will just have to wait. Okay. Oof. In the mine. 